If you've been lucky enough to do a beach holiday in the Western Cape, then you'll be very familiar with where the Caesar Stone Kitchen of the Year competition has brought us. Today we'll be visiting our next imported kitchen finalist in the bustling Plettenberg Bay, where designers Sam Edmeads and James Hart of Inside Living will be walking us through their gorgeous kitchen. Selected from 99 entries in a blind judging process, this is our second and final imported kitchen category finalist. Sam, James and the homeowner will win themselves a 100,000 Rand cash prize if the judges select them as the winners. But before we get too excited and take you on a personal tour, here's what the judges' initial comments were. feel like they've taken a lot of care. It, there's a lot of considerations yeah. gone into this and the way it, it works with the rest of the space I think is important. Yeah. Um, it feels like it belongs there. What they've done is taken a product that is normally standard and they've actually created a very custom kitchen. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that along with our homeowner and designer winners, you too could be a winner with Caesar Stone. We'll be giving away a KitchenAid mixer with 10,000 Rand every week. Those details to follow at the end of the episode. James, this home is a designer's dream. A multi-millionaire comes up to you and says he's got a brand new project for you to work on. What was going through your mind? We were sure the architect's brief and the architect's design of the home, we really knew it was a showcase for our product. With three floors and a lot of open space, you must have had quite a lot of creative ideas to bring all of those spaces together. What was your plan with the kitchen? We are working with the elevations. We brought in a lot of the floating design that you'll see on the roof structures, a lot of cantilevers which we've married in with the end of the island over here. To be selected as a finalist in the imported category, 80% of the kitchen elements must have been imported. Which parts here were locally sourced and which were imported? The working parts of the kitchen are all imported. When it came to the local element, we decided to go for a bespoke French oak, which brings in the rest of the areas in the home where it is used in a lot of the door panels, as well as in the wine rack that you see behind us here. Sam, this is an incredible space. It almost looks like it was designed in Europe. And we did in fact incorporate some international design trends when looking at the space. Working with the shape of the space itself, we kind of had to go linear. Also the parallel banks of workstations. We also incorporated a lot of different levels, played around with thicknesses of materials. This island is actually almost four and a half meters long. So we were able to incorporate a lot of Caesar stone. We actually decided to open up the side of the island. We've got a surface then for display and we've also got additional storage drawers on the dining room side. Just for something fun and something different we decided let's still incorporate a downstand but on the front elevation instead. We've also incorporated an integrated finger grip just to create a seamless flow throughout the kitchen. One thing to note is that the door, the drawer fronts actually clip off and are detachable. So if you ever wanted to update your inside living kitchen, you can actually just clip off all your door fronts and drawer fronts and you've got a new kitchen. That is such a brilliant innovation and one I definitely haven't seen before. Looking at the hob and the extraction that we've used above, we decided to do two side by side instead of just one. And they became a bit of a feature element as well, the square sort of modern clean look. We thought we can't just have a herb box sitting on the counter. It's got, to, it's got to blend in with the rest of the island and become more. And then it actually also extends again underneath as a footrest for the stools on the other side. With that, we've completed our Imported Kitchens category and you've had the chance to meet both of our kitchen finalists. So all we need you to do now is share your thoughts on who you think should be the Imported Caesar Stone Kitchen of the Year winner. Head to your favorite social media platform and use the hashtag Kitchen of the Year. And if you're as passionate about kitchen design as we are, take a look at the Caesar Stone blog where you'll find plans, photographs, videos and interviews to inspire you even more. Next week, we head off to Johannesburg to go meet our first local kitchen design finalist. But until then, here's how you can win. The KitchenAid Mixer is the perfect companion for your Caesar Stone surfaces. Win your very own KitchenAid Mixer each week with the Caesar Stone Kitchen of the Year competition. To enter, tell us what color were the Caesar Stone countertops in today's episode. Is it A, black, B, white, or C, red? SMS the keyword Caesar Stone and your answer A, B, or C to 41703.